Greetings once again fellow slayers, dudes this then back again with Demon Slayer Kometsu no Yaiba, the Entertainment District arc. And last time we had the explosive finale, and I really mean f explosive, with incredible, jaw-dropping, eye-popping animation abound. And tension so hard it felt like I almost couldn't breathe at times. Last time Tanjiro awoke to the whole entertainment drifting ablaze and his friends downed, Gyotaro looming over him, but not killing him, no. Gyotaro saw a bit of a kindred spirit in Tanjiro, and while beating Tanjiro down, also offered to make Tanjiro a demon. For the use of one of the wisteria coated kunai, he was able to get the upper hand on Gyotaro, but when he was almost able to cut off Gyotaro's head, he hesitated because he related to the thought of what could have been seeing himself in Nezuko and Gyotaro and Daki. But once Daki tried to use this opportunity to save her brother, Zenetsu managed to pull himself under the rubble he was buried under, going for Daki's head. But thanks to the malleability of Daki's body, she managed to save herself, but just barely, putting her and Zenetsu in a bit of a stalemate. Just as Gyotaro manages to almost get the upper hand over Tanjiro, in comes the one-armed Uzui, going in and fighting harder than he ever has before, running off of nothing but pure adrenaline. Seeing his opportunity to strike, Tanjiro goes in, and though he does end up getting ugh, stabbed under the jaw, this doesn't deter him, and he goes even harder in on trying to decapitate Gyotaro. Speaking of stabbed, who should come to Zenetsu's aid? None other than the stabbed Inosuke, in a moment that really made me confused because he said, oh yeah, my body's so malleable I simply bent my organs out of the way of the blade at the last second. Mm-hmm. Regardless, our Demon Slayer boys unleashed everything they had and managed to decapitate both siblings at the same time. And though the fight seemed to be over and Tanjiro was trying his best to deal with the poison now racing through his system, Uzui screamed out that it wasn't done as Gyotaro's body started to convulse and erupted in an explosion of blades of blood in every direction, causing a massive explosion. The question now is, did that last act? end up killing anyone? And is it really done? Are the demons really slain? And who didn't live through the experience? Join me as I find out, won't you? Jeez, it's going in every direction. Oh, Nezuko. Oh, oh, she's awake. Oh, she burns away all the blood and saves the noise. Oh man, Nezuko coming in for that last minute. Oh, no opening. Huh? Oh, I guess this is the finale of this story arc. Episode 11, no matter how many times I am reborn. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Little baby Nezuko. Oh, oh, she put something else in her mouth. Oh, wait, no, did he? Nezuko, she, everything's destroyed. Christ. I hope they got everyone out of there, because, man, this is awful. It's in ruins. Oh, aw. Did you save me, Nezuko? Thank you. All right. Wait, where's everyone else? Oh, yeah. My body. Yeah, I would be shocked if you still had strength left. Well, move. Hang on. How am I moving at all? How am I still alive? I got poison. Wait, I mean, didn't it disappear when he died? He killed Gitara, so the poison's done. Tanjiro. That's Vanessa's voice. Tanjiro. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> it's a little baby run. Tanjiro. I wake up and my body's aching all over. He really doesn't remember? He was the most coherent while he was sleeping ever, and he doesn't remember still? I don't know how to feel about that. Are my, both my legs broken? What's going on? Who did this? It hurts. I'm too scared to look. Right, thank goodness. Oh no, but it's because he strained his legs from the god speed. I am not alright. Uh, I've got it rough. But Inosuke is really poorly. The sound of his heart is getting weaker and weaker. Oh, Inosuke. Where is he? He's over there. Over there. Oh god. He's not. Inosuke, 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 hang in there, Inosuke, oh shit, oh god, his heartbeat is growing faint, I need to do something about the poison, oh, what about sunlight, it's still a while until daybreak, what do I do, what do I do, I could send a code to Nobu, no, they won't make it in time, I need to do something now or Inosuke will die, why am I okay, why only me, oh, is it, Jesus, oh, oh, it's sort of the skin from the poison, she, oh, it's just like with Emu, she burns away any kind of demonic, Pain. Her abilities specifically attack demon physiology? Why so specific though? Or is it something about their blood? Because there's obviously something 
up with Tondro's body too. Holy crap, she can burn away any kind of demonic contamination too. Yeah, and when Daki was engulfed in the flame, she said it, it was like she couldn't quite heal herself as quickly as she should. And it's not a permanent injury, but oh man, I'm starving. <laughs> Give me something to eat. Oh my god. No scary. Oh god, he's injured. No. Thank goodness. Get it out. Thank goodness. You're creeping me out. No. No, don't die. Please don't die, Tengen. Oh god. You survived in everything. You went in everything. Jeez, yeah. Christ, I'm surprised he's even remotely still alive. Oh no. What are we gonna do about the demon's point if it, our antidotes aren't working? This is awful, God. Just awful. I have uh, a few last words. I spent my life. God, if you let Tengen die, I will pray to you ever again. Oh my god. See, the tension just kind of lost because i'm like okay so nezuko's just gonna come over and burn the taint out of him yeah, burn his taint <laughs> i'll never forgive you hey pipe down will you can you see tenga is trying to talk i'll shut your mouth full of stones you bimbo oh my god can you both be quiet please he is bullying me you gotta be kidding me <laughs> and i'm even going to get a few last words before i go <laughs> You really want to shove stones in my mouth. Yeah, I said stop. And my tongue's growing numb from the poison. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> I could have had some last words, but now it's too late. Man, that would have been an effed up way if he... He's not gonna die. Seriously? Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, it's a little baby. <laughs> huh? Uh, touch. Burn! <laughs> oh my god, what do you think you're doing? Who are you? It's way too soon for a cremation. You can't burn him up when he's not even dead yet. I'll give you a spanking. I'm angry. Hold up. Oh, what just happened? The poison's gone. Oh, <laughs> got her face in the background. Thank you. Aw. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Aw. Oh, lady. Trying to scare you like that. I think Nezuko's demon blood art burnt up the poison. I don't really know how it works. Oh god, his fingers. Ugh. <laughs> She's so proud of herself. It won't heal your wounds though, so please. Don't try to move. Oh god, you're right, sir. I didn't even know that was possible. It's throwing me for a loop, thank you. Hey, you shouldn't be moving about either. You'll die. Thank you. I'm gonna look for the demon's head. Get rest easy until I've made sure. Right? <laughs> I mean, after you've already seen them, you've seen Doki live through getting her head cut off, I'd be like, no, I'm making sure this is done. Just in case. Not to mention you never know if someone else... <laughs> of the upper rank demons is gonna show up like Akaza did. Like, j nope, nope, double tap, double tap. I mean, technically you did taking them both out at the same time, but still. <laughs> Nezuko's still carrying him. I love the sound of her just... <laughs> Nezuko, over there. I smell demon blood. Oh, a pool of blood? Demon blood. Oh, oh alright. It's not about to attack us. Yeah. <laughs> when you've seen slashes coming at you made up of that stuff, I don't blame you. Oh, the syringe. Oh, nice. Way to keep your eye on the prize. I managed to get the blood of an upper rank demon. Oh, oh, chief, the cat again. Thank you. Take this to, to no, Tamaya. Oh, good kitty. I'm counting on you. And she's gone. Huh, oh, nice. I can't see any people. Lucky and the others must have gotten everyone out of here. Hopefully. Thank goodness. Oh, let's go. This way. Can you go this way? Smell the demons getting stronger. Uh, but let two goons like that cut off your damn head off. You were watching, weren't you? Why didn't you help? Uh, they're arguing. I was facing off against the Hashar, wasn't I? So what? Why didn't you kill him when you had the chance? You should have smashed his head in. I was about to, okay? Oh god, really? Arguing like siblings in your final moments? I mean, at least say some words of comfort to each other. Uh, then I saw the brat with the earrings was still alive, so I thought I'd deal with him first. Besides, you weren't doing anything anyway. How the hell did you go and finish the house off with, huh? You should have controlled me and made me do it then. You said you did nothing. Oh god. You let your guard down. Shut the hell up. You're still alive? If you're going, gotta go around calling yourself an upper rank demon. And they're having an argument. You should have at least be able to defeat two grunts by yourself. Oof. Even though their bodies are slowly crumbling away. Yep, siblings. You're the idiot. What do you say? Oh, <laughs> are they tired? You're too ugly to be my brother anyway. Oof. I bet we're not even related. Really related. Oof. I mean, you don't look anything like me. You're useless. All you had going for you was your strength. Nothing else. Look at all you now that you've lost. All you are is an ugly failure. Oof. Cut the crap. If you were out on your own, you'd be long dead. Do you even know how many times I've saved your ass? If anyone here is a filler, it's you. Eureka, you're not good for anything. I really regret coming for someone like you this whole time. Aw, my life would have been way different if you hadn't been around. Aw, if only you weren't around, you know? Why the hell do you have to clean up after your mess all the time? I wish you were never born. 
Oh, right. That's not true. You don't really think that. That was all a lie. Be good to each other. Your brother and sister, you only have each other. You won't be forgiven for what you've done. You'll be hated by all of those that you've killed. You'll be loved and reviled. Not a single soul will take your side. And you two have to stick together. You shouldn't be cursing each other. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Shut up, you. Don't you lecture us, you damn brat. Get out of here. Oh, it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. Do something, please. Only try. I don't want to die. Only try. Oh, jeez. Oof. <sighs> Man, why do you have to make me feel bad about them going? He was right. In the end, they only had each other. Ume. Ume. That's right. The little sister's name was Ume. Not Daki. What an awful name. Oh, oh. Well, Ume's pretty awful too, eh? What? I mean, you were named after the disease that killed our mother, you know. Really? Well, someone wore. They were born in the poorest part of the entertainment district. Kids cost money just to feed and keep alive. So they're nothing but a nuisance. Even before I was born, I was nearly killed a ton of times. Oh jeez, is that their mother? After I was born, I just got in the way. I was nearly killed a ton of times. And so I survived. My body was as weak as a brittle brand. And I made every desperate effort to live. You warned, you owe, you craven sloth. I knew he was projecting on Tanjiro before. Useless, it, useless don't. They mocked me for the ugliness of my voice and visage. They called me filthy and cast stones at me. Oh jeez. Seemed every insult in the world was tailor-made just for me. I was ugly and filthy. I was covered in dirt and dandruff. I had fleas and I smelled foul. The entertainment dress for beauty is prized above all else. So I was viewed as a particularly special disdain. I got some sort of monster. When I got hungry, I ate rats and bugs. My only plaything was a sickle that some customer forgot. Gee, that's why he goes for the sickle. Something started to change within me when Ume was born. Oh, she was the opposite. She was beautiful, huh? Ume, you were my pride and joy. You were from an early age. You had a face so beautiful those would stop and stay. Oh, I realized I was a strong fighter. Oh, and I started working as a debt collector. I unsettled and frightened everyone. It felt good. <laughs> I began to take pride in my ugliness. Ah, Beauty and the Beast. She was loved and he was feared. The fact that I had a sister as beautiful as you meant I had no need to feel inferior. Ah, I felt like our lives were taking a turn for the better. You are on the up and up. That was until you turned 13. What? What the hell is that? Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, so even at a young age, she was brutal. Then again, considering probably what she was made to do. There was a customer, a server that had, she blinded by stabbing him in the eye with a hairpin. As retribution, Ernie was bound up and burnt alive, Jesus. I was away, and I came back from work and found her burnt to a crisp. Oh god, she's still alive? Jesus. No, 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 no. But you are making me pay. You never gave me a thing, so why are you still making me pay? It's unforgivable. Unforgivable. Fix my little sister. If you don't, I'll kill Buddha God and every single divine being. Oh, oh! What the hell? You sure this is the one? Yes, sir. That's him. What the hell? Thank you very much, sir. It's a weight off my shoulders, thank goodness. That's a vicious piece of work, this one. He caused serious injuries on his round. He's just been getting out of control lately. What? Wait, was he collecting debts for her? She sold him out? It really was a shame what happened with Ume. But if I find another cute one, I'll be sure to tell you. Ugh. How about that payment? Hold your horses. First, I'll finish him off. Yeah. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, went for her first! Oh, I can't blame him. Oh, hey, that's a nice kimono, isn't it? Man, how is he so fast after being slashed in the back like that? You look very tidy and your skin's all silky too. You must get plenty to eat to get and go to sleep on a clean futon. I bet it's been that way from the day you were born. Living with a fine roof over your head. Ah, his lamentation. It must be nice, eh? So guys like you really shouldn't kick up a fuss, shrieking and squealing. Oh, damn! Number one measly eyeball. Damn. So what happened? No one will help us. The same as always. The same as always. This is just our life. No one's ever shown us a shred of humanity. Hey. It started snowing. All our lives. The world has never shown us a shred of mercy. Hey. What happened to life being a mixed blessing? There's meant to be good mixed with bad, damn it. Fortunately, that's not always true. Sometimes you're dealt nothing but a string of bad hands, and in the moment it feels like you're finally taking your life back, more bad happen. Life can be cruel. Ah, <sighs> What's this now? Oh, you poor thing. Who the hell? Oh, yeah. He holded a severed head 
Who the hell is this? If Lee Hartsaw have got to step in, the girl will die shortly. Hey, what does his eye say? I'll give you guys some blood. Both of you, if our patron sees fit, you may become demons. Oh, so someone can even become a demon through- Oh, so that's what he was saying. That's why he d was trying to give blood to Tandra. Whereas Tandra, he, he saw a lot of himself in Tandra as well, right? Okay. Oh God, life is precious. We ought to cherish it. Now, let's see if you two can become demons and follow my footsteps rise to an upper rank. Oh, Oh, he was the upper six previous. So why was it decided that the two of them together would be upper six? In the 12 demon moon, 12 Kizuki. I got no regrets about becoming a demon. Or how many times I'm reborn. I'd want to be a demon every time. I have to make people pay for their happiness. I'd always become their time. He'd take what was owed. Ah. It's just, if there's one thing that weighs on my heart, oh man, is the thought that maybe you were different. Uh, the two separate roads. Yataro, he accepted his lot as a, you know, where he was in life, being a beast almost. Like, she could have had something better. Well, if you'd only been a proper order, you might have become a proper order. If you'd only been born in a normal household, you might have become a normal girl. If you'd been born to a fine family, don't you think you could have become an elegant lady? You're easily influenced and earnest by nature. You just turned out the way you did because I raised you. Uh, take from them before they take from you. I taught you to make them pay. You stabbed that samurai in the eye, but maybe if you'd only been obedient, there might have been some other way. Mm, so he feels that she's He's the reason she ended up dying. Huh. I guess the one thing that weighs on my heart is you. So what now? What is this? Oh, we're seeing how? Oh, yeah, we've seen the moment before they moved on with a lot of them. And we saw with the, God, I'm forgetting the one spider dude's name, but his family joined him, even though he was, you know, not going to heaven. Onichi, uh, I don't like this place. Where are we? I want to leave. Do something. Your appearance. Oh, is that the way out? You'd better quit following me already. Oh, because he knows where he He's going, why? Wait, I quit following me. Are you mad about before? I'm sorry, okay? I don't think you're ugly, Oni-chan. I was just upset. I was just upset we lost. I didn't want to admit we lost because of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't do better. If I had made myself more useful, we wouldn't have lost. I'm sorry for holding you back all the time. Hey, Oni-chan. We're not siblings or anything anymore. I'm heading this way, so you go the other way. Head for the light. Oh, he wants to bear it all. Everything that they've done. Hey, no, I don't want to. I'm not leaving you. I'll never ever leave you. We're going to be together forever. No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll still be your little sister. Every time. Don't hate me. Don't be mad at me. Don't leave me on my own. If you leave me behind, I'll make you pay. We're going to be together forever, okay? Not fair. It's not fair. You promise, don't you remember? Promise. Did you forget? Ah, the two of us together were invincible. We could stand the cold, we could stand the hunger, no problem. I promise we'll be together forever. We'll never leave you. See? You've got nothing to fear. Always there. Jeez. I have to say, I do commend the series for never shying away from the fact that though they have become demons, they still did wrong. They still ended a lot of people's lives. And there's no real absolving that. But there are still those who will stick with them no matter what. And it's not as though everyone has a sad backstory because Emu... Emu faded into nothing, and that, that was the end of it. But there are still those who you know, had someone or something who would go to hell with them because they love them. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Wonder if they managed to make up. Yeah, man, you did good, Tanjiro. Yeah, <laughs> affirming <laughs> that nod. <sighs> it's finally over. I'm tired. Yeah, no shit. Holy crap. Uh, I see. Six hell, huh? the very lowest amongst the upper rank. Oh god. So you did defeat an upper rank even with just six. Are you fucking kidding me, man? That's really great news. Still only six, though. Oh, it's this asshole, of course. Really? Let's see you do better, asshole. What a shit thing to say. You almost earned my praise. Uh, I wasn't doing it for your praise, though. That's right. You should take your sweet time, sir. Right. If you maybe gotten here sooner, we probably would have fucking lost as much as we did. Yeah, you took too long. Let's go. Too long. Oh, hey, what's the meaning of losing your left hand and your left eye? What's the meaning? 
The fight with the lowest of the upper rank, no less. Oh, really? Fuck this guy. <sighs> okay, you must have some. Either you're going to turn out to be a wonderful person somewhere down the line, or you just die a miserable death and we're done with you, because this is a bit much. How long are you going to take to recover? Who's going to take your place in the meantime? I'm going to retire, right? I mean, I can hardly fight like this. I'm sure the master will allow it, right? Don't give me that crap. I won't allow it. You won't allow it? What? Too many of our young ones die before they get a chance to come into their own. Well, the Hatcher post is empty as it is now that Rengoku's gone. Dude, he's missing an eye and a hand. He's he's done. He's he's done. Even you would be better than nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, you're you're making sure that I'm gonna need a lot to like this guy. I mean, this series might end up doing it. They might. I mean, a lot of the Hashira were down with killing Tanjiro, and I've come around to Uzumi and Red Goku, so I don't know. But uh, not until you die. <sighs> Man, just screw that. Pressure on my head. My head's gonna come off. No, the young ones are coming along slowly but surely. Including that one you hate so much. <laughs> what? No way. He survived? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even look around? This battle? That Tamato uh, Tantra? I... <laughs> Here you are saying that how dare Ren Goku have been so injured and all this and that, but you're surprised that Tanjiro lived? Uh-huh. I love the victory music in the background. I see. They beat an upper rank. Well done, Tengen. Oh! Oh! Oh god! How long has it been? How has it spread this much? Wait, Nezuko! Nezuko healed the poison from before, could she heal him? Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitz, Nosuke. Oh, he remembers all their- Kaguya, the century, the century old parade paradigm? Wait, what? Has just now been broken. I'm in a oh god. Who did this to you? Was it Muzan? Oh god. Can you feel it? This is a sign. Fate has begun to change course. This river will surely spread in great distant shockwaves until the effect eventually reaches that man, Muzan Kabutsuji. I swear that we of this generation will surely defeat you. Oh, so his family's like been fighting them for generations? Hey. The full black mark upon our family. Wait, full black mark upon our family? What? Children, boil some water. Then fetch the medicine in the towel. No, father. Oh, father. Ah, oh, that's their father. Akaza. Oh. Oh god. It's this place again. The unearthly dimension. Infinity castle. If someone's here must mean one of the upper rank was defeated by a demon hunter. Hell yeah. And we're coming for you next, Akaza. Or somewhere down the line. Oh god. Damn, that hurts. I'm still so glad, Tengen. <sighs> Seriously, thank goodness you're alive. Now we can head home. With all four of us still here. Yeah, let's make our triumphant return. All flashy like. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Thank goodness. This is no skin crying to. We're alive. <laughs> like, oh thank god we survived. <laughs> That's oh, thank goodness. We're all alive. <laughs> thank god. <laughs> Just oh god we survived. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame them for that. That was harrowing as shit. <laughs> so many anime would just be like, yeah, we survived. We did it. Yeah. Cheering and all that. But it's no, like, no crying because it's like, oh, thank God we lived. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. I, I mean, I really can't blame them for just being like, oh, my God. We lived. We lived. Ugh. This was good. This was good. I'm, I'm glad Uzui lived. I, I I honestly would have been mad had yet another Hashira died, but it's like, no, he's, he's out of commission. <laughs> like, he, he's not coming back to this shit, and I can't blame him. Uh, Daki and Gitara were, were great opponents. I loved the mystery leading up into their whole situation. This had a lot of great comedy. This is by far my favorite season. I thought I loved the Infinity Train stuff, and I really did. But the Entertainment District stuff, just, oh my god, is even better than the last. Each season has progressively gotten so much better. The action more intense, the choreography, ugh. And we're slowly making our way up. So it's like, okay, next is, you know, fifth, fourth, third, second, first. 
and then Muzan. Although it makes me wonder, the guy who gave Gyotaro and uh, Daki their power, what's, what's his position now? <sighs> and it took some solid teamwork to do them in, which I'm glad for. Honestly, it's one thing I've always kind of complained about when it comes to a lot of anime is that there's not enough teamwork. There's not enough doubling up to take on a really strong opponent. But this here, this really shows the desperation. And I loved it. I really loved it. Finn, Demon Slayer commits no Yaiba Entertainment District. Ugh, still wiped away tears and shit. Like, oh my god, good stuff. Just, ugh, ugh, whew. The motion was high, just everything. God, I loved the teaming up to take down the two of them. It was 4v2, and they put in all that work. All that work. Ah. Oh. Man, what a, what a, I, oh man, I feel so satisfied after all that. I feel like I, I got everything I could have wanted out of that season. Just, oh, man, it's, oof. it's gonna take a lot to live up to that one. But we'll see, we'll see. Ah, oh, that, man, that, that shook me. That shook me hard. Because even Gitarra and Daki's backstories were just, oh, got me in the feels, got me but hard. I love how Tanjiro and Nezuko could relate. There are plenty of times where I wish Nezuko could at least say something beyond, like, what Tanjiro's mind thinks she's saying, or, I mean, shoot, it's really hard to say, because the family seems to be able to communicate through blood. There's something unique about Tanjiro's whole family. Like, even with the family, even in death, the kids and the mom are still talking to them, which is actually kind of cool. But, <laughs> Honestly, even beyond the grave, they're still helping out. It's still a team effort. Oh, but man, I... Uh, Muzan's gonna be pissed. It's, it's honestly also funny how it's kind of relatable that amongst the 12 Kizuki, there's been comments about their forces never changing from Muzan. And then amongst the Hashira, there's comments about their forces never changing. And now they're starting to lose members. Shit. And I have to assume what we're doing is, you know, Tanjiro, Zenetsu, and Inos... Inosuke are going to become Hashira going forward. That must be it. Shit, it might be a lot of the kids who made it through the exam that they were through. Like the one girl with Shinobu and the one kind of jerky kid who made it through the same exam as Tanjiro. They're all gonna ascend to the new Hashira and stuff. That would make a lot of sense. And so a lot of the other Hashira are either gonna fortunately probably die or retire because of injury. Because that's the thing. It's like, hey, they're human. That, that, that is the one major thing. You either get so injured you can't continue or you succumb to your wounds and die. I wonder if any will quit, honestly, just because they're so racked. Like a moment from like Hunter x Hunter where you had, what was the uh, Nobu? Was, was that his name? Who just couldn't fight anymore? Ah, oh, man, I'm so interested in what happens next. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, though. This, oh, man. I'm, I'm riding a high from this one. This, oh, even the sad moments kind of got me really excited, oddly enough. Oh, this, this, oof, oh, man. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's literally like a high. It's just like, man, I feel like I can just go out and run a marathon, but now I'm about to get ready for work. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I've been News Disney, and I hope to see you later. Till then, I don't remember what the next saga is called, but I'll hopefully see you there. Take care. Bye-bye.